Today I'll be showing you how to do whatever this is on After Effects, so without any jibber jabber, let's you know get on First, make a new composition with the height being 1080 and the width being 1920. Then add your picture into it. Pre-compose the picture. Go into the picture, composition settings, and make the width 1082. Resize the picture so it fits the composition. Add your second picture. Recompose it. Again, do the same process with the composition setting being 1080 each. Resize it and go to your main layer. Now you see if you disable this clip, you have two square pictures. Select both of them, press S on your keyboard and resize it to whatever you want the size to be. Go to the top clip, change the X position so that it's a little bit to the left go to your second clip change the x position so that it's a little bit to your right select both of them choose proportional grid change the y position so that the distance between them lies on the middle line right here you can turn off the proportional grid now to make the bouncy effect go to the first clip press this timer thingy here so a keyframe is formed and make it zero Skip a few frames, make it a little bit bigger than what your original size was. A few frames, smaller than what your original size was. In another one, your original size. Select all the keyframes and easy ease them. You can copy my graph if you want to or you can leave it the way it is. You don't have to do a graph. However, I'll be doing one. Select the keyframes and copy them. Go a few frames after and paste that, paste the keyframes on the second clip. To add the rectangle thingy, press this tool right here. Make sure you're on the rounded rectangle tool and mask around your photos. Go to this rectangle one thingy, fill one and make the opacity zero. You can change the color of the stroke by right here. I'm gonna make it white for the time being. You can change the thickness of the box right here. I'm gonna go for something around 8. Go to the beginning of your clip, press add and add a trim parts to it. Keyframe the start and make it 100. Go a few frames after and make the start 0. It will look something like this. Easy ease the keyframes and copy my graph. To change where your rectangle starts this part, you can just tamper with the offset right here. To add that glowy effect, you can add any glow, honestly, the one built in or you can add deep glow i usually use deep glow so i'm just gonna go with that if you're using deep glow don't forget to check this box otherwise you won't be able to see your pictures in the end this is how it looks you can add a background in it this was just an example on how to do this thank you for watching we're done